one of the hardest things I've ever done was going to the house that first night and say that we didn't find Jessica. A search for a missing sheriff's deputy leaves Travis County in mourning. On September 18th, Jessica gave the ultimate sacrifice. Words and emotions felt by law enforcement throughout Texas honoring Jessica Hollis. Truth, justice, and integrity. That was Jessica. More than 1,000 people paid their final respects to Senior Deputy Jessica Hollis today. They came to bid farewell to the deputy who lost her life in the line of duty last Thursday morning. That's when floodwaters swept away her patrol car. Travis County Sheriff Greg Hamilton spoke at her funeral, giving a tearful and powerful speech. KXN Sophia Beausoleil shows us how even through, even though the sheriff hoped for a better outcome, he still has faith. Yeah, we got a little of the room here, don't we? Senior Deputy Jessica Hollis loved water, loved her family, and loved her brothers and sisters at the Travis County Sheriff's Office who love her right back. That I believe heaven is rejoicing right now because they have her there. Travis County Sheriff Greg Hamilton spoke last at Deputy Hollis's funeral, a tribute to the first deputy to die while under his command. Sheriff Frazier, Art Acevedo, I've never experienced anything like this. And I know you have. I don't wish this on, a, on my enemy. The sheriff had to tell Deputy Hollis's family she was missing after the flood water swept her patrol car away. He says he took life for granted and never got to tell her that he loved her and didn't want to make that mistake again. I'm here to tell you that I love each and every one of you and I'll do anything for you. A heartfelt promise, like the one he made last week when all hands were on deck to find Deputy Hollis and bring her to shore. And I said that I was going to bring her back. I brought her back to this earthly home. Now she's in heavenly home, where the streets are made of gold. Senior Deputy Jessica Hollis was a pet lover. She owned a Chihuahua, and friends and family have actually asked people to donate to the Chihuahua Rescue of Austin. Coming up at 6, we're going to hear from her neighbor who used to watch her dog and all the memories that she has of Deputy Hollis. Reporting from North Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. After that funeral, people who live in Travis County and surrounding areas showed their appreciation for Deputy Hollis's sacrifice. Law enforcement agencies cleared the way for the procession, which included hundreds of patrol units. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis spoke with people who came to honor the fallen deputy. Car after car slowly traveled along the roughly 13-mile procession route, made up of law enforcement agencies from across the state. Along the way, they passed community members holding flags and paying their respects to Deputy Jessica Hollis. Those citizens say they want to show her family that her loss was not in vain and that she wouldn't be forgotten. Community members lined up here on Parmer Lane for Deputy Hollis. While many say they didn't know her, they felt connected to her in some way. I was in the military, my husband was in the military, and you know we, we lost a lot of good friends um, during that fighting for that Iraqi freedom. Um, so I kind of understand what everyone's feeling. It just, it's really sad. Two Starflight helicopters joined two APD helicopters in the sky in honor of Deputy Hollis, helping to send her to her final resting place. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. And throughout this week, other law enforcement agencies from across the country have offered their support through phone calls and emails and text messages, paying tribute in some way, even if they were not able to be here today. And the final tribute to Deputy Hollis came at her graveside service at Capitol Park Cemetery in Pflugerville. The ceremony featuring an honorary gun salute, then as a bugler played taps, an honor guard removed the flag from her casket. The folded flag was given to Sheriff Hamilton, who then presented it to Deputy Hollis's son, Mason. Then a symbolic riderless horse walked past the gravesite, symbolizing a fallen hero. The ceremony ended with Sheriff Hamilton giving a traditional final radio call, signifying the end of Deputy Hollis's watch. 
Mourners are also honoring Jessica Hollis in the place where she lost her life. They have placed flowers and notes and other items at a homemade memorial near the spot where search teams found her body. Deputy Hollis, of course, was checking the status of a low water crossing near Lake Austin when floodwaters rose very quickly and swept away her patrol car.